Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 1. Headed back to the Forest Naval one last time for me to get your belly. We're going to do our best to gather the three parts that are left here before we fully dedicate our energy to the Forest Naval. Nope. To the Distant Spring. Wow. I was being very casual about that and then I completely whiffed on it. Anyway. Uh, if you like me messing up intros, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe, there's actually a part that's way, 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 back here. So I'm gonna get pretty much a good, healthy chunk of my blues. We're gonna start with this one, and then we're gonna end with the parts that are a little bit closer to home. So first things first, I'm the realist. Okay, so let's gather everybody. Um, it looks like oh, so there's one here. That's what this is gonna be the last part we grab. There's this in the middle, which might have been a part we were in the process of grabbing. And there's one that's all the way back. I'm not entirely sure what it is uh, that we were trying to grab. It's like right next to, where is it? Oh, it's in the bread bug. Okay. So there's a part that's actually in the bread bug. Uh, we're gonna ignore that for now. We'll come back to that later. I keep referencing the map because I am woefully unsure of where I'm going. Okay, so. You're gonna need a lot of blues for this one. I believe this part actually takes like 40 or something like that. Are these Wally Wogs gonna be a problem? So let them first go and uh, try to do a stomp attack. If you surround them with your Pikmin, they will of course overwhelm it. And that should be enough to safely get it out of the way. We're gonna do that with this one, rinse and repeat. Pretty much the safest way to handle Wally Wogs. You've seen me do it the wrong way. Uh, every time, decided to try a different, a different take this time around. So anyway, this is the antidioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all the disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. <laughs> that means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. Who knew that Captain Olimar was so concerned about the environment? Do you think he uses paper straws, viewers? All right, so. We got a handful of blues that are still very much interested in doing things that don't matter. So I'm going to let these guys take care of that. I have no idea if they're going to be able to manage it successfully in a way that is pleasant to me. But in the meantime, I'm just going to grab these other Pikmin. So the bread bug, if we remember. Ooh, I thought that would have gotten me. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to head back to base here in a moment. The red bug is, I believe, where the final part is that we're going to try to... Well, one of the final parts that we're going to try to grab. I'm not entirely sure what order of operations it will be. I am just hoping that those blue Pikmin can just take the part back without me needing to noodle it too much. So we're going to do these in kind of a weird order. Because I, I don't really have like a set good, I guess, strategy for trying to take out the the bread bug. So I'll try to do that last because I have a feeling that I'm going to screw it up and uh, it'll be a pain. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out pretty much all of my yellows. This is going to be brutal. I have a feeling and we can't get out too many of them because of the limitations on the field. That's okay. So these are basically our better yellows. We are going to as I forgot to basically blow up any of the walls. Oh, there you go, blues. Only lost 15 of them in the process. Probably got set on fire. Brutal for them. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to stop. I'm gonna need you to stop. All right, so in the process of, of doing that, in the previous episode or two, I don't remember why I did it, um, there was a time spent getting into this area. So this is where uh, some nonsense is about to happen. Prepare yourselves. We're going to meet a familiar foe here in just a second. Here we go. We're going to start right away with trying to get this done. Uh, this is the BD Long Legs. So he's going to stomp around, of course, as he does. And when he lowers his bulbous sack, we're going to try to hammer away, slap the bag here, call our yellows back. Hopefully not lose all of them. This is obviously just one of the more annoying fights as it gets interrupted. Thank you, Blue Pikmin. 
trying to do battle here and you're ruining it. What else is new? The antidioxin filter. Laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate pollutants. In the post-apocalypse, everybody is very environmentally friendly. So here's the downside of this fight. Um, yellow Pikmin suck at fighting. And this is something that has a ton of HP in this, in this version and it will not go quietly. So you're probably watching me mercilessly get my Pikmin just completely trunked on, but um, I'm not very good at this game, so whatever Pikmin are left, I, uh, I want them to be very proud of themselves. Do I have enough to carry the thing? The guard satellite, deep space is filled with dangers. Automated satellite does its part to help guard me and the spaceship. Cool, great, wonderful. Um, so yeah, I have just enough Pikmin to carry it back. I don't need anybody to do that except for the part itself. So we're going to very carefully navigate this little area because there are fire spouts, there are Wally Wogs, which are very annoying. So I think I might actually take a very interesting approach here and um, I'm gonna have them carry it a good amount of the way. I don't need you to do that. I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm gonna see if we can carry it past the first fire spout. Maybe the second unscathed. Okay, come on, hurry. Oops, ran into it. Okay, good. So the goal is just to get this back most of the way. I don't know if I can get it back all the way. They could have taken it back this way, but uh, nope. That would have been convenient. So the one thing that's annoying is that you've got these stupid uh, fire blow hogs that are always going to be causing problems. And your Pikmin like to, of course... Um, they like to run right into it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have all of them stop and I'm going to put these yellow Pikmin right here and let this one die a very horrible death. Sorry, bud. But this is why I'm going to go back here. And my goal to finish off the episode is I'm going to, well, to finish off this part of the episode, excuse me, is to kill that bread bug. And I feel like the best way to do it is probably red Pikmin. And as we all know, Red Pikmin, immune to fire, also immune to sucking because they're really good. So we're going to put back the blues. They've done their due diligence. Put back this one yellow because we don't need it. And we're going to go on a killing spree. Killing spree because I need it. I already lost a ton of Pikmin. But once again, this is a game where I could be more careful. But because of how archaic this game is and how frustrated it makes me... I'm not going to be, so if you don't like that play style of go and, and whatever, then that's just, it's just not for you. But anyway, here's a bread bug. I think we should be able to, to get a pretty good beat on it. If I could have you stop, you can almost corner it. Yeah, so what you have to do with the bread bug is you need to land on top of it. I think I've already like done this before and other uh other playthroughs of this game but you have to basically get up get on top of it and just bonk it on its head and i'm hoping that it's the right one i think there might be two of them and if that's the case um i'm gonna need you to come back sir i think it does heal itself as well so i want you to come back okay so we are gonna have to chase it down a little bit further and i want to go quick because it, uh, it does have, I, I think it does have the ability to regenerate its health, which I hate and I hate everything about it. So, um, usually when you have, um, why do I have so few of my rats? What are you, oh, you guys are getting distracted. See, this is, this is just little elements, little peevish things about this game that I, uh, really, really don't like. So I'm going to find that bread bug and I'm going to murder the heck out of it. Where do you go? You can check your map as well. It will show you. Oh, he's going way over there. All right. So in the meantime, I'm going to, I, I was just going to use the, um, the the yellows I had, but that seems like a waste. So I'm just going to bring my small squad of reds that are immune to the fire. And we're just going to go on a bear hunt. We're going to go on a bread bug hunt. Where did he go? All right. So he's way back here. We're gonna skip past all the, uh, we can I go this way? Yeah, there he is. All right, bud, you're mine. I'm so over parts of this game and like how it makes me feel like I'm so bad at Pikmin. I mean, I know I'm not good at it, but. <clears throat> and usually when you have the parts, 
that you are working towards gathering. Your the bread bug here, this boy, which I'm really struggling to hit. Um, I have to lead my shot a little bit. He should be going after the part. Like that's usually what it does. Is it's supposed to um, be greatly attracted to what you're trying to do, and it just makes it makes circuits. There it is. Thank goodness my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming. All right, so Breadbug is dead. All hail, murder. Um, probably are gonna give the corpse to the yellows if I can pull it off. I don't even have enough Pikmin to carry this back. So I will grab these yellows that were the survival of the fittest. Stay away from me. Yeah, I, I, I think, I, I I can't say for certain because my experience with this game is, is sort of limited, but I do absolutely, I think this area is my least favorite in the game. Ugh, and I haven't even gotten to the final area yet, so I don't know. But anyway, the guard satellites protected me from space pirates many times. No pirate bay for Captain Olimar. All right, so let's use the yellows to help out the reds. And by the time we get this back, it will be, <laughs> it's very goofy looking upside down being dead. I'm going to spend the rest of my time here, I think, just trying to gather the rest of my Pikmin. Not that I really care at this point. I know that, that sounds a little morbid, um, that I don't care about my inter my uh, not internet, my digital critters, but, you know. That didn't go as poorly as it could have. You know, I obviously probably... I mean, I think that I'm doing well enough in terms of the amount of time that I have left. I mean, this is like, what, day 13? So realistically, I should be able to just spend a day or two, probably off camera for the more boring things. Um, I'm going to spend a day or two just probably growing Pikmin to make sure I feel equipped for the final area of the game. I don't even know if it's really going to matter. I don't know. I don't remember what the expectations are, but we're about to finish the forest naval here in just a moment. We bring in the float and that should be it. I feel like I probably, I do have a little bit of time left, so maybe I will use my time to propagate some yellas. There was, of course, space to do it with some of the larger tokens that you get from killing the beady long legs, but I don't care about that. All right, success. Space floater, an excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is always be prepared. Captain Olimar, a little humble brag from the head honcho here. I'm gonna put those reds back. Don't need them. And just to speed up the process, even though we're right next to the onion. Um, yeah, I, oof, I really did kill a bunch of my yellows, didn't I? I started out with a nice amount and I have since ruin that but anyway right next to all these uh pellet posies so we're gonna go ahead and just i don't even care anymore i'm just i'm so indifferent to the dynamics of this game that i just want to let's just make as many as we can in the few minutes we have left few in-game minutes of course and then we'll move on to the distant spring because we have now completed this area i did see a run through of this game where the person with glitches, I believe. They finished this. I think they I think they finished pretty much the first three areas in six days. Or the, each area. Sorry. The first areas they finished each in a day, which is kind of absurd to me. Although, you know, they did cheat, in my opinion. I think that if you use glitches like that, it is it is cheating. So you know, you're not doing it the You're not doing the same as a cash play, so I know that. You know what, we did grow a few few additional yellows, so you know what? All in all, the murder graph is going to look very bad here, here in a moment when you see it at the end of the day. But I have no remorse because I'm a cold-hearted killer. No, not really. I just, you can play this game however you want to. I'm just, at least in this one in particular, I'm not so sentimental about the Pikmin I do and don't have. And I think it just, a lot of it has to do with and see, we're almost back up to what we had. I think a lot of it has to do with um, just how 
frustrating the game can be. So I think that is probably enough for the day. How do we, how do we do this? I forget. Uh, I forget how to do things. All right, we're gonna go to sunset. That's all three parts in here though. Three parts in one day, viewers? You're welcome. We're gonna have to really work hard in the distant spring and try to gather some more stuff. I know that, that area is a little bit more convoluted. That's good enough. I don't think I left any Pikmin to get launched. 13 days since impact. It's very strange, the scenery of this planet, which I found hostile, now sometimes strike me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking that they were some parts I don't need yet. So he says that. That's basically saying that you don't have to get all the parts. We will be doing that, of course. We only have seven left. And 17 days to get seven parts is pretty extraordinary. But as you can see, went up a little bit in the reds, really went down in the blues and yellows, of course, but we had a little bit of a resurgence. So we have 200 and nice amount of Pikmin, our total population. It's pretty much, you know, it's good enough given the nature of what we're trying to do. So we're gonna head back to the distant spring. We still have one, two, three, six parts to get. I don't remember where pretty much any of them are except for the one that we tried to get that the game did not want me to get. And it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I gotta blow up some walls first and I didn't do that, so. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just look at the mappy poo real quick. So there's a part inside one of these trunks, which I don't, there's a, there's a bunch over here, all right. So I think that there is actually a pretty, there's a pretty good chance that using blues again would make sense. And I'm actually glad that I timed it out the way that I did. We're gonna get as many parts as I can, if any. No promises. Um, I don't really like having days where I come up empty because it makes me feel bad, but I'm going to try and come over here. There's an area that we, oh, I didn't open it up all the way yet. Okay, well, that's a little frustrating. Can I get, hold on. Can we just come around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's basically what happens if you don't um, have this area. But now we know how to kill Wally Wogs, so we're gonna do that. Let's get this gentleman over here. Hello, sir. Okay. And then boop a doop a doop him to death. Oh yeah. It's a very effective method. It does look like he, he, it, whatever. It looks like it does have the ability to fight back a little bit. But now that we have our blue Pikmin, we can knock this wall down. Very exciting, oh boy. You're not going to be able to get up against the wall, are you? Don't you do it. Okay, well, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, he killed a bunch of my blues. Oh, boy. I had a lot, and he just went right up against... All right, well, you know what? I'm going to let them do that. I'm going to go back and get some more blues, because I completely botched that scenario. Oops. My bad. I'm very, very upset. There's more... Um... More bomb rocks, of course. Looks like he's still in the process of killing the other blues. That's okay. Yeah, like I said, there's going to be an eventual moment where I just, um, oh, I do not have very many blues. I will, uh, I have enough to carry the part back. If not, that's egg on my face. I got a little bit too confident in my ability to do this. All right, so there's the one, and we're probably actually going to have... I'm gonna call these boys off for a second, and I'm gonna have my yellows finish blowing up that wall. There's multiple walls in this area, unfortunately, that you do need to take down. Let's just go with like 15. Don't need a ton of yellows. Actually, probably don't even need this many. But I do want to have those walls taken down. I at least want to get one part in this episode. In this part of this episode. I can never properly qualify what I do. All right, okay. so get in there. I know you got plenty of bomb rocks and this should almost basically be dead, this wall. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, cool, so that's good. Um, I thought that was gonna take way more than that. It did not. So because of that, the there is a wall over here at the beginning that is eventually going to need to be taken down. So, oh, looks like all the enemies are back. Oh, I love that. Love that for me. Okay, you're about to get killed. Now, what was the thing that it said? 
Oh, you can switch with the R button. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know that. How dumb am I? Okay, so that's pretty much it for the yellows. I think that with the remaining blues that I have, I'm going to get redemption on those Wallywogs. Well, just the one. He's through here. Oh, and we still got... There was one other Pikmin that was still fighting the good fight. Yeah, we're going to let him come on land for a second, then we're going to swarm him. Come on, let's go. You're dead. I'm going to do this the right way this time. A lot trickier this way, but... Ow. Could need my blues to take him out. Yeah, it makes sense if you do it the right way. I'm absolutely not doing it the right way, but, you know. I just want you guys to... Please kill this thing. Take your time, you know, no worries. Oh, that's... Uh, come on. It's got, what, a sliver of health left? Okay. So, um... I'm probably actually going to need to use my blues to carry all this crap back. I don't know if I have enough of them to even really... Um, how do I have 21? Oh, it's probably part of the yellows. Yikes. So I basically just decimated all my blues. Very cool. Um, yeah. So that's unfortunate. Definitely uh, I bamboozled myself on that one. I know that in the meantime, because I am very good at subdividing my Dandori skills for Pikmin 4. Man, I'll tell you what, this game though, in a nutshell, I know that it was the first one, but man, this game is just, it is so rough around the edges in a way that just really, really, it really grinds my gears, we'll say that. All right, so let's go ahead and get like 50 reds. I'm doing like all the little things that are necessary to, to make progress without actually making progress. So my seven blues are carrying that chip around. I'm going to have them come back in a second because I do actually want them. I do actually want them to uh, try to knock that wall down. But here you go. You got red Pikmin. I want them to all climb this shaft. And I'm going to bring it around town here in a second. I'm going to catch up with them. I think this is the way that you... Oh, boy. Can I not get it? I might have to go all the way around. If this looks familiar to you, it should. I believe this is one of the maps in... Uh, Pikmin 2. I don't remember which one it is, but... Yikes! There's so much crap going on! I don't even know if I can get all the way over there. This is why I want, This is why this map is definitely one of my least favorites. There's just so much nonsense going on. Is this the ins insert? Otherwise known as the entrance. I think... Yeah, here we go. So this is why you want red... <laughs> Excuse me. This is why you want red Pikmin. Which in this game, they can't destroy these flame spouts, which is really annoying. Um, but we do have another one of the cannon larva spider things. I don't know if the Pikmin can carry the part out, but we'll have to find out here in a second. Whoop. I'm gonna hide over here for a second. And we remember how to fight this guy, right? So. Wait till he opens his backside up and then we're gonna hit him on, hit him on the back. I was gonna make a much funnier response to that, but the way that I said it was just not good. All right, here we go. The bow sprit, whatever that means. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleet shade. And I don't know if we have even remotely enough of like clearance to do this. I have no clue. Uh, no, we don't. So great. Anyway, that's part of it. I need to have my Pikmin come around here. Stop running into the fire. Okay, so here, here's the problem, is that uh, there's a lot of collision going on, and my Pikmin are not paying attention to that. They're like, but what if we carry the thing and then we build the bridge? And I'm like, no, 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 no. We are bridge builders. That is your sole purpose. And I'm not really that hurt, so I don't know why the game is giving me such static about all this. But while they're doing that, I'm going to... I think I can... There's a shortcut here. Well, I guess I could have come this way. What I'm going to do, as I just... I'm just botching this entire this entire scenario. All right, so they just finished building that. Um, I'm going to use my blue Pikmin, and I'm going to try to propagate 
I don't think I'm getting that part back today. I'm going to try to propagate the remaining balloons that I have, because I have 12 of them, which is great. But I completely nuked my, uh, my blue population because I'm stupid. We're going to come back here. And, uh, yeah, guys, just get stuck along the way. You are the sole remaining survivors of your clan. And why not? I just want to have you take the exact amount. Okay. Okay, can you guys get out of the water? Are you stuck? You need help? Can I push you? Oh my gosh, this is this might be the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Viewers, isn't this cool? You know, what a great game this is. Where your Pikmin get stuck on the geometry of the game. Alright, we'll have them carry that one instead. Please, just get it out of there. This should at least give us a decent amount of... Um, of blues in response. Obviously, uh, I almost extincted them, so that's not good. Which I believe in, like, future games. I don't think that you can. I don't think the, like, the game just pretty much won't let you do that. Okay, so let's bring it around town. We got the, the butthole lipped bull blacks, bear borbs, whatever. Um, why don't you stay away from me? Oops, did I just, oh my gosh. Oh, it's just telling me that I'm that I'm getting very hurt. All right. Well, you know what? At the very least, I can have my reds come here. Been real sick and tired of you, bud. Real sick and tired of you. I don't have time for this. Oh, you think you can just shake me? Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You can go over there. I really don't. I really don't appreciate your kind. There's no lock on in this version of the game too, which is really annoying. You know, the early Pikmin game, of course, being as rudimentary as it is that you're seeing. No lock on. And we just have the swooping snitch bug just being a complete butt, absolute, an absolute butt right now. I just want to get this, uh, this wall down. Probably playing this very poorly as you see. Not really a good order of operations, but if I can get the wall down and get the part close, then I can definitely accomplish what I want to do in the next in-game day. It's something that you have to do by day 15, I think. Maybe. So we're going to try to do that. All right, one more. Just one more. Neek. All right, come on. Do your thing. I honestly don't even know which way they would carry it out of here. It would probably make more sense to have, like, a, like bomb rocks in tow and then have my yellows nuke it to speed up the wall. Because this is exciting, right? Okay, good. Um, yeah, out of curiosity, I just want to see where they will take this. I don't know. It, I mean, honestly, it would be awesome if they could take it the way that's already, like, open. So I, I didn't have to actually do this, but we will see. Where they take this ding dang dongle. Oh my gosh. Quit. Just get out of my business. I gotta be careful not to get eaten here as well. Oh boy. Alright, just, you know, sneak right past them. You're just gonna sneak right past you. We have these stupid, uh, sheer grub things that are just trying to be absolute annoyances. Oh, don't bump into it. Don't bump into it! Okay. Well, it's mad now. So. But I feel like maybe my Pikmin are too fast? Ooh, not these ones. Oh, you are the casualties of society. Okay, so. Clearly that wall needs to come down. And then we can get the part. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, bad. We have the spotty bull bear here. It's causing me... Oh, there's two of them. This might be an abandoned ship moment. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> there is... Uh, there's no hope for survival here. And I'm also very damaged, so... Rending this on a rough note. Uh, I'm just trying to... Just trying to juke through here. Just to get out of the way. Ugh. Well, at the very least... 
viewers. We know that, uh... We gotta blow up this wall for next time. And then we'll have the bow sprit. Which is a stupid name. Um... We'll have that in tow. And I have all these blue Pikmin that I've since been able to grow. That rhymed. But yeah, so there's probably loose Pikmin around. Those aren't coming back. Nope, and I love that too. I love when I, I basically have caught everything off. All right, I might just kill you as one last hurrah because I just can't stand you. Yep, all right. Don't even worry about it. It's a bit of a travesty of an ending. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not great. We didn't get any parts this time, unfortunately. We do have plenty of days to do that, so don't worry about it. I'm pretty optimistic, anyway, because we got three in one day and none in this day, and I only promised two per day, so technically, three divided by two is 1.5, so that's almost enough, right? Almost. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, you, had, you do have to blow that, that wall up because there's the... The other part that I needed the yellows for. Oh, I hate those stupid sheer grub things. 14 days since impact. The candy pop bud. I'm going to throw Pikmin into this flower. Yeah, yeah. We know what candy pop buds are. We throw them in. One comes out. And another color. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I have eight blue Pikmin. Which is not good. So I am going to come back to... Um, I am going to come back to this area. The distant spring in the next episode just to show you something fun but then i am probably going to spend you know i'm going to spend the next episode doing the uh the fun stuff that i promised but then after that i'm going to probably spend a day or two just growing my pikmin back because of how poorly i've done so i probably should be able to get a part at least maybe two in the entirety of the next episode so thanks for watching everybody i've been d mike this has been pikmin one and i'll see you next time bye